Let's say that we want to figure out the acceleration due to gravity on Mars. The first thing I'll do is draw a circle which represents the planet. And then I'm going to label a variable that I think might be important, which is the radius. In order to figure out gravity, the distance away from a mass is important, and also the mass itself. Something with more mass is going to cause more gravitational force. Something with less mass is going to cause less gravitational force. After that, I'm going to think about what equations might be useful for the situation. I remember these equations offhand, but you can also look them up. They're probably going to be in a section in your book about gravity and forces. So one equation is F with a vector symbol is equal to capital G, lowercase m, capital M over R squared, and it's in the R hat direction. That means it points towards the mass. You might also see M1 and M2, but I'm using lowercase m and capital M to kind of show that lowercase m is a smaller mass and capital M is a bigger mass. Then I'm also going to use Newton's second law, which is that a force is equal to a mass times an acceleration. Both the top equation and the lower equation have force, so I'm going to actually set those two equations equal to each other. Just to go over the different variables, capital G is the gravitational constant, R is the radius of the planet, M is the mass of an object on the surface of a planet, and capital M is the mass of the planet. If we set those two equations equal to each other, we see that the acceleration is equal to capital G times capital M divided by R squared. The acceleration is the acceleration for gravity, so you can relabel that as G sub Mars with a vector sign. The constants that we're going to use are capital G is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 meters cubed divided by kilograms times second squared. The mass of the planet Mars is equal to 639 times 10 to the 21st kilograms. And the radius of the planet from the center to the surface is 3,390 times 10 to the third meters. We're using kilograms, meters, and seconds because those are the units that are going to work in the equation. If you use kilometers, it's going to basically be off by a little bit. If you used minutes or hours, that's also going to change things. Once we enter those things into the equation, we get that the acceleration due to gravity on Mars is about 3.7 meters per second squared. And that's about 40% what it is on Earth. On Earth, it's going to be about 9.8 meters per second squared.